Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm off. Well, it's somewhere between 28 and 32. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to hold it? Yeah, I'm not shaking. Okay, right. 30, 32 mm -hmm. ounces. Mm -hmm. Plenty of light on the camera. Okay, just hold it up a tiny, tiny bit. Up a, a tiny bit, mate. So frame it. Up a tiny bit more. Head towards me a touch, back a bit, head up a bit, perfect. Morning. It's the, mor it's the fourth morning of our stint here at uh, Grenville and um, it's been an eventful night. Dan behind me here has had one and what appears to have happened because we've been so, seen very little sightings of fish is that they seem to have backed off the wind the wind's been really really strong it's been all over the place um, it's now swung round to a southeasterly from a west southwest and behind us here there's kind of there's quite a big bay which is quite sheltered and they appear to have just uh, drifted back into there for now and, and Dan's managed to tag a nice 30 uh, for us last night so um, we've had some action what I'm beginning to get the impression is that, that it's not really happening for me on the baited area um, when we were scattering bait far and wide and you know roaming around inside it you know we, 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 we were you know picked up free for straight away on the first night so it's going to be a change, a complete change of tactics for me tonight. Dan hasn't put much bait out at all. He's just scattered a bit of cay around the place, you know, in, in the rough area where he's fishing, and he's managed to tack one straight away. So it's not a problem that that bait's out there because there's always bait out there. Um, so I'm not concerned about that that we put too much in or whatever. It's always there, um, but I think it's always there to the extent that they know it's there and there's a lot of natural food in here and they can you know take it or leave it it's, it's just just that it's it's the bait's always there it's there constantly and not only that but it's constantly fished as well so i don't want to fall into a, a sort of stereotypical trap and rely on bait to catch fish now i'm going to just fish around it i'm going to fish right over the back of it i'm going to fish to the right of it and to the left of it and and see what that see what happens be a little bit of check uh, i'll change my presentation so i've got a, a rig that's uh, really efficient for fishing over sort of or not or fish, not not fishing over bait so it's a sort of single single look bait type rig um there's no chods on here i don't use them anyway um so we'll have a little look at that later on when i've knocked a few up but anyway that's the plan for today again it's not going as, as well as we might have hoped. I don't think the big hit's on now. Um, I think the water's just too cold, the conditions, although we've got low pressure, you know, it's still very, very cold. And the big hit, of, you know, is, is so really now it's about just grinding out every bite that we possibly can. Again, a move's not on, big hit's not on. So now it's just about working the swim, working around it, um, and, and just picking them off uh, one at a time, okay? But like I say, not a problem that we've got that bait out there because it's always there, you know, and it's not going to stop them, you know, picking up a single look bait fished around it. So let's crack on with that and I'll speak to you later on. I've moved the rods off the actual baited area quite some distance, you know, sort of 20 yards and I've got one further over the back there I've got one moved further out to the right and it's really just, if they're, if they're a bit cagey and coming in a bit timidly picking them off on, on, the, on the way in and the other thing that, that will still 
we'll still know if they're on the bait because now that I'm fishing right over the top of it, I've got one rod right over the top. If they're coming backwards and forwards between the marks, we'll get liners. Okay, so I'm deliberately trying to see if there is anything out there at all. Okay. Bit of a rethink, bit of a, uh, we've rejigged things around a bit. Um, we just have to see how it goes, you know, but the, the important thing to do here is keep thinking and keep trying. You know, you can't just sort of give up and you can't expect if something's not working, leaving it another 24 hours and, and it will start working. It may have done, but let's just see if, if there was, if we'll, we'll find out from what we've done tonight. A, if, they're bit, if we're right and they're being a bit timid and they're not coming all the way in, we'll pick them off around the outside. B, if they are coming in at all, we should, if they're moving backwards and forwards between the marks, we'll, we'll get liners, we'll get bleeps, we'll get knocks, and, and we'll know that you know, perhaps it's worth bringing one back in, or two back in even. So that's the plan. Change, adapt, overcome, it's not easy. What I really want now is a real, real big one, you know, a real big one, a good 40. You know, maybe even an upper 40. There's a few fish out there now. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this fish, you know, if this fishery fries up a couple of 50s this year. You know, if we get something like that, that's even, you know, it's phenomenal to be a PB, you know, live for the camera. So that's what I'm kind of, I'm angling for now. We've got what we came for in terms of big fish, but I want a real big one now. And, and this is my approach and I'm sticking to it.